Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. We're going to talk a little bit about how to think about initiating um, arching and curling in the pelvis or bridging by thinking about unweighting or freeing the sacrum um, from the floor before we go into movement. So if you come into your hook lying position, feet flat, pelvis neutral, spine and head released, I like to cue sinking the feet into the floor first. And so when I sink my feet into the floor, it's an imperceptible movement to anyone looking at me, but I've just unweighted the back of my pelvis and sacrum. And so this really helps clients feel how heavy the bones of their sacrum and pelvis are and kind of get a better idea of where they are in space. And then they can just release the weight of the bones and tissue back into the floor. So it's a very tiny, small, subtle movement. They would inhale to prepare, exhale, sink the feet and unweight the back of the pelvis and sacrum. And so my clothing is still con contacting the floor, but the weight of my bones is no longer fully released into the mat. And then from this hovering kind of unweighted position, I have options. I can either just float in one piece, thinking of reaching my hip points up to the ceiling in a flat back neutral bridge, and then driving the movement from the hip crease, tailbone, back down to the floor to find that kind of hovering position before giving the weight of the pelvis back to the mat or I can unweight the back of the pelvis and then think of curling my tail. So now my sacrum is really free and my ilium bones to roll back. So I get lots of openness in my lower spine. And then from there, I can continue to roll up and articulate <clears throat> into my bridge and I can roll back down, trying to find that hovering curled, released pelvis and sacrum before I release fully back down to the floor, giving the weight of the pelvis back to the mat. And so when you're trying to differentiate between flat back bridging and articulated bridging, sometimes it can be a nice way to awaken that um, sensation of experience by unweighting the sacrum first and then either taking it straight up or releasing the bones. You have more um, um, awareness and access to that curl of the pelvis before you would articulate up. And it's a nice way, again, to ensure that they understand the difference between that articulated pelvis and that neutral flat back bridge if you help them understand how to unweight the sacrum first. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.